All right, everyone. So today, got a little crazy thought. Let's see if we can get uh, one of Kyle's designs in Pet G to fly. So I have the Fat Amy F35C um, in, what was that, King Room brand uh, Pet G. And it's coming in at 850 grams, so probably about 200 grams heavier than she should be. But um, for scientific reasons, let's see if she can fly. Um, so I got 1% infill on most of the fuselage. I started with 3%, but uh, I noticed it was actually pretty strong. So I went down to one, still feels pretty strong. The wings cannot print in 1%. So I think I did those in 5% if I remember right, infill, I did gyroid. I have a 4S battery in there, got a gyro on board for launching, um, 1600 Hildo uh, 4S battery, I think I got the QX motor in there. There's the motor, the fan, so yeah, let's uh, see if she flies or crashes. I honestly have no idea. Pre-flight check. And we're going to go this way. All right, gyro's on for launching. Let's see if she flies. To be honest, I'm a little intimidated, a little freaked out. But if she crashes, she crashes. Yeah! <laughs> she crashes or she flies. All right, so she's on gyro right now. Let's see. So she definitely feels a little heavy. This is my first Fat Amy F-35C, by the way. Um, but I've flown so many of Kyle's designs. I'm pretty used to how they feel at this point. Well, I wanted Pet G because Pet G is inexpensive, uh, fairly accessible, easy to print.
floats pretty good. It's probably high alpha pretty well. Yeah, too windy.